Well, hey everybody, how's it going? Having a good day today. Just got back from the post office, picking up my first oscilloscope. Pretty good deal for 100 megahertz, four channel, Tektronix 2246. Um, pretty good condition. Pretty dang good condition, works good. And I'm super excited. I'd be a lot more uh, uh, able to show it if I wasn't so tired. I was up all night waiting on it right into town. Wanted to get it and make sure it was okay. I would have done the unboxing, but it did not look okay, okay at first. The uh, package it came in was all beat up and it had a bunch of USPS tape on it that said uh, received damaged with the UPS logo. I was like, uh oh. But it was, had lots of the styrofoam peanuts in it. Not the biggest fan of those. They all shifted to one side, and I think it was this side that I th that got hit. Uh, anyway, yeah, the package. Oh, I would have done an unboxing if I wasn't just ripping it open. No, please don't be broken. It's not. It's looking good. I love it. Old school Tektronics. I don't know too much about this stuff. This is more to help me learn and continue my own self-education. I started, this is not the first electronics books I, I had, but it's the first one I bought and the first one I ever really got into. Um, bought it from Radio Shack, I think for like 20 bucks. But it was so fun to get into because this guy's got really good illustrations of like the circuits. They got little faces on them. And... Anyway, it was kind of my own way to get into electronics. I like electronics. Ever since I was two years old, I've been taking things apart. First thing was a vacuum cleaner. After my dad put a screwdriver in my hand and told me about righty tidy lefty Lucy and took it all apart and just stared at it. Didn't know what else to do from that point. Couldn't put it back together, that was for sure. I just took out the screws and opened it up and that kind of started my passion in tinkering and electronics and all that stuff. And Or actually it started my passion with tinkering and taking things apart. Radio Shack started my passion with electronics. I started going to Radio Shack and it was a great store back then. It, wasn't nowadays it's not so good they still have a little hobby section um, unfortunately the two stores I had nearby are, are closed to down now and you can only get their stuff online with electronics and I got some Arduino stuff and parallax is actually what I first started out on uh, parallax homework board which is more kind of set up for schools I think it, I mean it it's got a teacher section in it in the book also from Radio Shack kind of expensive it's the higher end expense, and uh, it was the press. It was before Arduino Parallax was um, the first thing I heard about. Arduino might have already been out, but I didn't know about it. So I went and got the Parallax board. Really good to learn on. It's all its own little thing. Came with a really good book, nice and thick. See, I've got my little my little place finders. Here's like the beginning. Um, this was. Uh, really fun getting into this learning about it, it kind of teaches you what's a micro microcontroller where do you find it everywhere almost so yeah that's the uh, parallax nice thick book teaches you the basics of programming and basic it's called basic is the language p basic now arduino is the big thing However, I still use this thing, and I think the code is very similar to Arduino. So I'm still going to go through this first kit that I bought and finish it. I like it, and I want to get this done first, and then I'll move on to the Arduino stuff. And I even got a little book for the Arduino to um, help me learn with those. But yeah, the less le last lesson the last lesson I had in this was seven-segment LED display and programming it. Here's uh, how to run a stepper motor. 